It's Wednesday, November 3rd, and this is a quick look at headlines from the KTC newsroom. I'm Marcel Fontenot. Crowley Police Chief Jimmy Broussard is now being sued in federal court. According to the lawsuit, Broussard retaliated against a pair of whistleblowers. The suit says the two officers, Sergeant Nicholas Penn and Captain Tammy Mallett, cooperated in an investigation into Broussard's conduct. If you remember, Broussard was indicted by a grand jury in February on four counts of malfeasance in office and one count each of obstruction of justice and injuring public records. All six charges are felonies. In addition to Broussard, the officers are suing the police department and the city of Crowley. If you'd like to read the entire lawsuit for yourself, you can find it at KTC.com. New information about a story we first brought you yesterday. Lafayette police now say an argument between two adults in a parking lot escalated to shots being fired one of those bullets hitting a child inside of an apartment. We now know the girl is hospitalized and described as stable. Police are still looking for those responsible. If you have any information, you're asked to call Lafayette Crime Stoppers. On to coronavirus headlines now. All Louisiana children between the ages of 5 and 11 are now eligible for the COVID vaccine from Pfizer. LDH is now following the CDC recommendation issued yesterday. All vaccine providers for children in the state have been alerted and given the green light to administer the Pfizer pediatric vaccine immediately. When it comes to the side effects in children, experts say it's safe and effective. Clinical trials showed the most common side effects were a sore arm at injection site. Other side effects were fever, chills, nausea, and headaches. A serious but rare side effect was heart inflammation. Well, turning now to weather, Rob, starting to feel a little bit like January. Is that what you said? Yes, January? indeed. Yeah, we have showers moving on through this evening. Temperatures getting down into the 50s, and they may not make it much out of the 50s tomorrow. So some showers near term. Here we are at 7 o'clock in the morning. Temperatures lower 50s. There'll be a little bit of a wind chill factor. Lingering cloud cover for a good part of the day. So we struggle to reach 60 for a high or lower 60s tomorrow afternoon. Maybe a little sun just at sunset. So might we might squeeze a nice sunset out of our Thursday and then Friday morning. Certainly chilly indeed with temperatures in the mid 40s. The graph model going for uh, lower 40s, perhaps even some upper 30s for a wind chill Friday morning. But Friday we'll see full sunshine and temperatures getting back into the upper 60s, perhaps lower 70s. So this is the way we're going to play it in the near term. Mostly cloudy sky. Rain chances done with after the overnight hours. We're in the 50 50 range for our Wednesday night. Lots of sunshine Friday into the weekend and the clocks go back one hour. Temperatures uh, for the most part beginning to warm up going into next week and overnight lows mid 40s and then moderating before our next front, which should arrive around Veterans Day or next Friday. That's it for news and weather. Stay with us for more in other segments.